and I'm going to just do one last one with the atlas. I'm going to have him pick his head up, and I'm pushing into the atlas. <laughs> He's letting me have it. Everybody take a breath. Okay, Everybody sweat. watching. Let's all take a breath here, too. Okay, one more. And I'm pushing down on the pole. Pole is a term for horses, but it's the upper bone. I'm just going to hold this because he likes it. Here today, and here, watch Rocky walk. So the back end just falls over, and we're going to watch him for a little bit. But Rocky is approaching two years old, right? Or three years old? So he's already two, but he's approaching three. And he lives here in New York City with his mom and dad. And Kayla's here with me. And here, look at Kayla for a minute. Kayla's the mom Hello. and the owner. <laughs> And what happened to Rocky? So his health went downhill at a certain Very point. Very quickly, right? it seemed to. Yeah, he just one day he just kind of stopped walking properly. So. And you've taken him to all these specialists, right? Yep. So it's not yep. like they're not trying. Yep. They're taking him everywhere. They had blood work. They had X-rays. They had urine. Urine. Feces. Feces. Yep. Yep. MRI. Um, yep. I think, yeah. They didn't really hold back on anything. So anything that their vets wanted them to do, they did. Nice. Um, all these smells. And we're just we just let him out of his uh, what do we call it a carrier massive carrier yeah. massive carrier <laughs> and I'm just what I do with cats is I let them first feel the room if I come right to a cat it's not really a good idea yeah sometimes <laughs> it's a good idea but nine out of ten times it's not a good idea so and you know it's what's interesting people talk about this and I know you know this is my channel the Animal Cracker channel which you'll probably be seeing this on is um, a big thing is body language and a big thing is approaching. Now I think some animals can feel that like male energy and so if anything I, I have to minimize that and not come towards an animal that especially an animal that might get spooked like a horse or a cat or even a dog that might be frightened where you come in full shoulders here I'll try to do it to the camera where I just come in full shoulder and reach towards them it's usually a bad first impression. So if anything, you'll see me with horses sometimes come in sideways or I hollow out my body and be more receptive, more of a receptacle. Um, eye contact, I'm not like right at them. And um, especially with cats, so I want Rocky to check out the room first. And we're gonna take a little time with this because if Rocky doesn't let me work with him, then we have no work done today. And we're gonna hopefully Rocky will give me permission. Now, of course, Kayla at a certain point might grab him and get him into position we'll start. But in the meantime, he knows I'm in the room. Cats are so smart. And he's checking out the room, but he's also checking out the energy in the room. Now, my assistant Roger is videotaping, and Roger's sitting cross-legged on the floor in a very relaxed position, and we're all just being chill. Yeah. And this is a good warm-up. Um, now, he's hopping over the chair legs. But you could see, and keep an eye on him, you can see his back end just keeps shifting. If anything, it looks like the left back leg might collapse quicker, doesn't it? It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell, yeah. I mean, like I said, it's like four or five we, steps. We can see both legs are splayed out. Yeah. He's um, very unstable, so the, especially you'll see it with the quadruped, the position that they pick is the one that's most suitable to staying stable and balanced. And it's fun to see with dogs and cats how they just are so positive, they just keep trying and mm -hmm. living their lives. Yeah. So he's not feeling sorry for himself right now, he's just moving through the room. Do you find him to be in pain? Does he wince? Nope. No. He, yeah. No. Even like you said, if he falls, he gets right back up and keeps walking. Yeah, it's just. It's like part of his lifestyle that it seems like the last couple. Did anybody do any hypotheses and say this is what we think it is? After I think all it the could people? be the hips. He's lost a lot of muscle in the hips. I yeah. I forgot to mention that as well. Yeah. Um, okay, so his glutes and his hamstrings aren't as strong. Yeah. Does he jump? Is he able to jump up on things? He can jump, but it, he'll you know slide back down almost. Like the couch has two steps to it. He can make yeah. it to the first step, and then he 
fumbles his way up, but it's a struggle. And how long ago was he um, inflicted with this? I'd say probably, it's probably been three months, yeah. Because we've been... And it never got better? It stayed at this level? It's been, yeah, at this level, yeah. Okay. I, I wouldn't really say it's gotten any better or any worse. It's just, this is kind of how it's been for a while. Come here. Hey, bye. <laughs> Do me some... Do me some... Give me my... Do me some... So we're making a little contact. And will he let you handle him and bring him over here? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to have you sit side by side with me and bring him over. Yeah, buddy. Because I think it's time to get started. Come here. Oh, sorry. Oh, and that's the uh, lever that brings the table up. Bring the table. Come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, come here. Now I'm going to stay as far away from him in a way, like I'm not going to lean in. So he, if you can, you're going to hold on to him yourself, sure. okay? Like this? Yeah. And I'm going to pet him a little bit. Hi, Rocky. It's okay. Rocky, can I work with you today? What do you think of that? Okay. And I'm going to start with the Atlas because he's letting me up here. I'm going to be very gentle. And the left Atlas is actually shut down. Okay. So the, the Atlas is the top bone, and the wings of the Atlas are these little side pieces. Okay. And his left Atlas is jammed up against the skull, and that can happen from jumping. Okay, yeah. And if he lets me, I'm gonna do a little adjustment. And I'm gonna pull it down. Yeah, and I got that. I'm gonna recheck to see if I got it enough. He's letting me do this. I was gonna feel for muscle knots that might indicate other misalignments. Of course, we're going to look at the back end. That's the obvious thing. But the the neck, the cervicals, the upper cervicals are, are related to the back end. And think about it. Like if someone breaks their top bone in their neck, like Christopher Reeves, the guy that played in all the Superman movies, or the early Superman movies, um, he broke just the top bone of his neck, and it knocked out his entire body. So that area can get whipped. Uh, horses that jump can whip that bone really bad. It's like he's falling asleep here. Yeah, and I'm, I'm massaging him and doing my little special sleepy thing. I was going to say, he's uh, almost on the floor here. Okay. And I'm checking out. He's letting me back in the spacing. It's much better. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just do one last one with the Atlas. I'm going to have him pick his head up. And I'm pushing into the Atlas. <laughs> He's letting me have it. Everybody take a breath. Okay, Everybody sweat. watching. Let's all take a breath here, too. Okay, one more. And I'm pushing down on the pole. Pole is a term for horses, but it's the upper bone. I'm just going to hold this because he likes it. He's putting him into like a little trance. Now, I'm not going to thrust. I don't need to already adjust to the atlas, but now I'm releasing the pressure on the neck and the, the top of the spinal cord. There it goes. Yeah. So I got Did that. I let him go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just let him move. And then, and he's shake, shaked out. So do you see the head shake? That's really important. Is that good? Yeah, dogs do that, and the cat's licking his lips and sh did the head shake. Now, we still got to do more, but that's a great start. Now, he's integrating that. There's the head shake again. So I did a lot of work already. <laughs> Believe it or not, even if I stopped today, yeah, I did, I did something. something. Are you excited that he's letting me work, too? Yes. Are he's you? a very friendly cat. Yeah. He's so fun. Yeah. All right, let's bring him back and let's do the rest. Come on, buddy. Now, if this is a successful project, which I have no idea whether I can help him or not, so um, it's going to probably take a few visits. Yeah. No, but, that's but if you Come are on. interested, we can, and you feel at least it's worth a try, um, you know, I'd love to help, and yeah. you would do a few. Absolutely. Um, when you can, you bring him back. And now I'm going to go down the body check the lower cervicals, come into the thoracics. I'm very interested in the thoracolumbar junction where the thoracics end and the lumbars begin. Then the pelvis, uh, the sacrum, and the ilium. And let's do a little more. May I work again with you? Oh, here we go. I like to ask. I know they, they, 
you know, so doesn't mean they speak English, or, <laughs> but I think they know that I'm being respectful. And that's one of the first rules is be respectful. Would it be okay if we work a little more? Okay. So I'm going to just check your neck next, your lower neck. I'm going to come down right here. No, he's in a good spot. I'm going to just feel what the bounce and joint play of each little joint is. Actually, this one's out a little bit, but this is not as big one. Can it be his, okay. the way he's positioned? No, I got it. Okay. Oh, no, it's yeah, out. Okay. Let's see if he bites me. He's not a big biter, though. Rocky's not a biter, no. Not unless it's playtime. Okay, this one's out. That's a bad one. Okay. Oh, it's okay. I know. So I found a bad oh, one. Come on, buddy. Come on. We're okay, huh? This is good for you. I'm gonna face you. You hear this? Huh? It's okay. Ooh, he made a little noise. Did you hear that? Did he? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna work a little quicker now. Got it. Got it. Got it. I know, but it's Did okay. The hip. It's okay. Got it. Do you see you feel any muscle back there? Or yeah, he's very um, atrophied. Oh, no. That's oh. a bad spot. So his okay. right hip is out too. Bad. It's nerve wracking because I don't want to hurt him, but watch, he's shaking his head out again. Here, I'll take this for a second. Back to smelling. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have you grab him again. Come here, buddy. I want to check one more spot and then I think I'm done for today. Okay. Come here, buddy. I want to see if we come. A little, a little resistant now. Come here. Come here. Come here. You can go get him if you want. Yeah, I think I might have to. I might be done, but I want to see. I want to check what I just did. Okay. Come on. Come on. Buddy. And I learned a lot too. I learned that that back right is very tender. Oh, this butt's a little. Oh. Okay, Roger here. One more time. But we did some, I mean, I just did like six spots on him already. Hi, babe. Can I try one more time? See, he won't hurt you. Won't hurt you. It's okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> he's nuzzling me. He, he's rubbing on you. Was, oh, he gave you a couple kisses? He's licking my thumb. Oh. You're licking my thumb. Yeah, that's a good sign. Rocky loves to rub his face on He's his really face. cute. Isn't he? He's a special little guy. Here. I know, buddy. I know. I'm going to get this spot for you, okay? Yeah. I know. Oh, he's peeing. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's oh, okay. He peed a little bit. I'm sorry. Oh, it's, it's okay. still going. <laughs> Got it. I'm sorry. It's okay. There's no biggie. Get, uh, I couldn't hear less. Ugh. That's what we do. I'm sorry. No, it's really good. Okay? <laughs> it's okay. good. Okay. It's, um, yeah. Can and I have those? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Good. So don't worry. I'm sorry. Don't even be sorry. It's a good thing. Think about it this way. Rocky's comfortable enough to pee <laughs> while he's here. And you can get me cleaning this up, too. <laughs> this is the see. dirty work here. This is real life. This is. And one of the things I try to do on my channel is show my journey, meaning, like, I don't edit stuff out. I'm going to show this because this is what happens. I sometimes step and poop. Mm -hmm. I sometimes um, get peed on. You oh, know? I got a little nervous looking um, in the mirror. <laughs> he's checking himself out. Oh. So we'll see. You know, give him time. I just adjusted okay. a bunch of things. Okay. Adjusted his atlas. I adjusted down his back. I did that massage on his top muscles here. Okay. Um, I came all the way down to the pelvis, adjusted the sacrum, and then maybe you could come back either at the end of the week or at the beginning of next week. Okay. And we'll do a couple of visits. Okay. And if it doesn't do anything, one thing that's for sure is I'm not going to hurt him. Yeah. yeah. So either we'll do nothing, 
But he which, gets some, which he yeah. gets some good stress reducing adjustments. Yeah. Because I he should have some of those uh, fixated and misaligned spots adjusted anyway. Yeah. If it fixes his back end, then awesome. We're all going to be really happy. Yeah. But if not, I'm not going to hurt him. Okay. And it could be stress reduction for him anyway. Well, thank you. Can I keep this? Absolutely. All right. <laughs> so we're done for today. Believe it or not, even if I stopped today, yeah, I did, I did something. something. Are you excited that he's letting me work too? Yes. Are he's you? a very friendly cat. Yeah. He's so fun.